Hello Cowboy Nation, welcome back to the spring edition of the CHS video blog. Mike Hasso here, Principal of Capitol High School. And I'm Kayla Parker, Associate Principal. We're excited to be back with you and share many of the great things going on this spring at CHS. Congratulations to Holly Anderson and Kathy Douglas, CHS AP Environmental Science Educators, who received the District Super Teacher Award. These two educators designed a shared text nonfiction reading discussion circle experience that resulted in rigorous critical thinking and discussions from various perspectives as learners made meaning collaboratively. Their lesson design incorporated nonfiction reading strategies within the science classroom. Various roles to the readers were assigned and they provided um, a safe environment with an expectation to value the contributions of each group member made. This made for an extraordinary learning experience for our students. CHS recently had two staff members honored by their professional organizations and we're glad to share that news with you. First, Mr. Scott Mason, Head Band Director CHS, was inducted earlier this school year into the Hall of Honor of the Texas Bandmasters Association. As you might imagine, this is a great distinction for Mr. Mason, our band program, our district, and our school. And it comes on the heels of a long and storied career, a highly successful career, and we're very blessed and, and thankful to have had uh, Mr. Mason be a part of our campus. Um, additionally, Mr. Mason has retired. He retired at the end of February, and so we certainly wish him well on this next chapter of his life. Coach Chip Lowry was also honored by the Texas Association of Wrestling Coaches uh, and inducted into their Hall of Honor for his outstanding contributions and successful career as a head wrestling coach here at Coppell High School. Coach Lowry is an integral part of our staff and has been here for, for many years and we're fortunate to have him. So we're proud of both of these staff members. We mentioned in a previous video blog that Coppell High School received a two-year distinction as Apple Distinguished School. With this great honor comes many campus tours from districts across the world. We put together a virtual tour iBook for our visitors visiting schools to take a sneak peek into our classrooms. I wanted to share with you that amazing work that our educators do with technology in the classroom. Click the iBook at the bottom of this s'more to see how technology makes the impossible possible in their learning environment. Counselors continue to meet with students through April 12th to review course selections. Sophomore students who plan to take dual credit for the first time may want to pick up a dual credit registration packet prior to spring break so they can review the steps needed to enroll. Based on a few trends that I'm seeing as I prepare to build the master schedule, I want to make sure that you are aware of a couple of things. Ninth graders considering the International Baccalaureate or the IB program are strongly encouraged not to take U.S. History the 10th grade year as that content is included in the junior, senior, two-year class IB History of Americas. Students taking U.S. History in 10th grade cannot take IB History of Americas, which makes successful completion of the IB program very difficult. Most, um, the most common course at North Lake also by far is uh, the U.S. History course. Taking U.S. History in the 10th grade limits dual credit options for the junior and senior years. We recommend taking both World Geography and World History the 9th and 10th grade years. This could be important for college admissions and would qualify a student for the multidisciplinary endorsement if needed as well. Also please note that the state has removed the requirement of taking pre-calculus before AP calculus. However, it is strongly recommended that a student take pre-cal prior to taking AP calculus. Topics covered in pre-cal are important for success in AP calculus. In addition, Coppell High School does not have a level down option for students taking AP Calculus, AB, and the only level down option for AP Calculus, BC, is AP Calculus, AB. The 2016-2017 course selection verification will be distributed to students on April 22nd and due back May the 2nd, which is the final date for course selection changes. If you have questions about the registration process, please make sure to contact your counselor. 
You can find who your counselor is by going to the website and looking under counseling. The CISD Board of Trustees at their February meeting called for a May 2016 bond election. We encourage everyone in Cowboy Nation to remain updated on what the logistics and what the details are related to that bond package. The link at the bottom of this more is, leads you directly to information at the district website so that you can remain updated and aware of what the bond package holds in it. A shout out to our academic decathlon team who recently uh, finished their season, a highly successful season, with a second place finish at the state academic decathlon meet. Coach Tim Dixon and his army of academic decathletes, if you will, did an outstanding job of preparing and giving up many, many hours, including time over the holidays to be here at campus and uh, prepare for the various uh, meets that they competed in. And we were really, really proud of their successful finish at the state meet. Way to go, ACTEC. Recently, our HOSA club here on campus, which stands for Health Occupation Student Association, hosted an event to build awareness for Alzheimer's uh, here on campus and in our community. The students did a great job of developing the entire agenda for this event, including having uh, community experts and community resources available to help build that awareness, not only for CHS staff and students, but for community members who also attended. They did a great job of uh, hosting and sponsoring this event, which resulted in the lecture hall being full, every seat full of students and staff and community members who came and enjoyed the experience and walked away with a greater awareness of uh, this ailment. So great job, HOSA. Good luck to our BPA students who are competing in the state meet as we speak. BPA stands for Business Professionals of America. Ms. McClintock and Ms. Wolf have done a great job of preparing these students for some pretty rigorous competition and we're very proud to see this group continue to excel uh, at the local and regional level and as we said compete at state. We know you're going to do a great job and we look forward to hearing all the awards that you're bringing home. As we close this edition of the CHS video blog, we'd like to remind everyone of our various communication platforms, which include the updated school website, parent link email, which you by far tell us is the best way to communicate with, it, with you, our Facebook uh, page, as well as our Twitter account, and Tweetbeam, which we've alluded to in previous uh, uh, video blogs. Thanks again for watching, and we hope you continue to watch as we share the many exciting things going on here on campus. See you next time.